A long wait for thousands of travellers as train services slowly resume in France after an arson attack on Friday brought the high-speed rail network to a halt. Despite the disruption, some people though remained upbeat. It's annoying it happened just before the Olympics opening ceremony, but more trains are working now and we've been kept informed, so it's OK actually. The head of the rail operator said the Paris Games were not affected. For the Olympics, there was no real impact. We managed to transport the teams and make sure the Games were not disrupted by any sabotage. Rail staff have been working around the clock to repair cut cables and damage at three sites. It's not yet known who carried out the attack, but French authorities say they're adamant that the perpetrators will be caught. The public prosecutor has taken over the investigation. We know that about 50 investigators are involved. So I think the aim for the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Justice is to find the culprits quickly and punish them. The attacks highlighted the security challenge French authorities face during the Olympics, particularly as many events are taking place in central Paris. Athletes and fans are braving heavy rain in the city, most aware that zero risk is impossible, but the games must go on. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.